That 90s show is a new sitcom that's coming to Netflix on January 19th that picks up two decades after its hit predecessor, that 70s show. Here to tell us more about the show is Deborah Jo Rupp. She's playing Kitty Foreman. Deborah, congrats on the new show. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. It's absolutely my pleasure to be with you. Yeah, so fans of that 70s show are really eager to see you alongside Kurtwood Smith again. You're playing Kitty and Red Foreman. What's it been like reuniting with the cast and going back to the summer of 95 for the new show? Well, you know, first, when, I, when this first came up, I had to go, wait, what happened in the 90s? <laughs> The 90s was just like like a blur to me. And then I realized, oh, I got my first computer in the 90s. And oh, I had that big, huge phone, cell phone that was as big as my head. And, and it started to trickle back. Um, it's been a gift. It's just, it's just a gift. Um, I love working with Kurtwood. I, he's... He's one of my favorite acting relationships of all time. Uh, we're just, we just click together. Uh, it, it was great to see, you know, the original kids. They're, they're, they've just grown into just really lovely human beings. And, you know, they have families and they, life has moved on. And, and then uh, Eric and Donna have a daughter, Leia, Princess Leia, Star Wars. Um, <laughs> So Leia enters the house and makes a whole new group of friends and Kitty is thrilled and Red less so, as you can imagine. Yeah. Um, but the, the Leia's friends are very unique and different and they are such talented people uh, and they are just a joy to work with. They're so hardworking and, and it's it's difficult because they've had to deal with COVID, you know, as, mm. as younger people, they're dealing with COVID. And so we're rehearsing in masks or we had been. And, um, and so they're like, they're acting with half a face and, um, and they just handle it like champs. They're, you're, you're gonna love them. You're just, you're really gonna love them. What was it like for you personally to see a, such a younger cast that many of them were born after the 90s? What was it like to see them really I get into know. character? I know, I <laughs> know. My God. Um, so I'm sorry, so what was the question? What was it I like for really you, you know, having lived in the 90s, what was it like seeing those, uh, those younger actors trying to portray kids who grew up in 95? Well, we had the same thing with 70s. Okay. I mean, Mila was 14 when sure. we did 70s show, you know, so so Kerwin and I are used to that. You know, they don't, <laughs> uh, you know, I remember in, in one episode, there's a rave and many of them did not know what a rave was. And, and you know, a rave is very difficult to try to explain. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not even sure I understand what a rave is. So. <laughs> You know, there's that. Um, <laughs> I got to ask. You know, too. we're used to answering the questions as best we can. Yeah, I got to ask: Are any uh, of the other cast members coming back for maybe some cameos? Yes, life moves on. Okay. And but Point Place is still Point Place. Yes. So there is still the town, and there's still the people that live in the town, and. Uh, and you will see, we call them the legacy cast. Okay. You will see them in various different ways as part of the town. Oh, that's so fun. That's well, all I'm, I'm going to tell you. Nope, that's fine. I'm reading between the lines there. And, and fans of the show uh, are going to absolutely love this new iteration, uh, this new cast. And uh, it kicks off on Netflix on January 19th. Deborah, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for sharing your talent with all your fans and especially your time with us today. Yeah. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. You Thanks. bet. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Hey, there's more Indie Now coming up right after this, friends. Stick around.